Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime and oh boy, we have a banger for you today. I actually was going to save this video uh, for next week because I will be gone all next week. The video content won't be gone, but I'll be gone. Uh, but I couldn't wait. We have some breaking leaks, news, whatever. I'm going to explain what I know about this situation for Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, some of this stuff is absolutely amazing. I did share some of it here in Prime Gaming Fest. I didn't share all of it, nor why I'm really, really confident to call this a leak rather than a rumor, which is obviously two different things. You know, the distinction between a rumor and a leak is a leak is something that we can actually trace back and, and, and verify uh, the source, whereas a rumor is sort of, hey, none of us really know. We're just trusting hearsay from another person uh, rather than getting it directly from the person involved with it. Uh, and in this case, this actually comes from somebody who worked on Breath of the Wild 2 or was working or did work. Wouldn't be surprised if they were maybe let go after this nugget of information got out. But hey, they put it out there themselves, maybe not thinking anything of it. Uh, and it's not like the biggest leaks of the world, but it is actually vitally important for the game so before we get into this news i want to remind you hey i appreciate all of you thank you so much for showing up the prime gaming fest if you were there you don't know what i'm talking about you guys can just forget i even mentioned it i would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and let's get into this breaking zelda news so i'm reading this off inverse although this isn't where it came from they just give a good description of it uh, and I want to scroll down because, yeah, they give credit to Switch 4. I actually saw this before Switch 4, so I forgot it up. But let's just get right to the leak. Uh, well, we'll get to exactly who, who the leak comes from here in a moment. So the leak states the following. So the leaker is a 3D artist. Uh, and with that in mind, she mentioned animating sequences related to the first time the player picks up the Sheikah Slate. This also caused fans to jump to the conclusion of a possible playable Zelda. Zelda has the Sheikah Slate by the end of Breath of the Wild, so it raises the question of why Link would have it back in his possession. Switch Force, uh, one of the channels that covered this, uh, raised the possibility of Zelda being a playable character, which, by the way, so has every single fan since the very first trailer of the game. Uh, we see Zelda in action in Hyrule Warriors, so it's not totally out of the question. Also, by the way, she's like the Phantom and Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks, that kind of stuff. Anyways, whatever. Um, Link mutated arms seem to replace the Sheikah Slate in Breath of the Wild sequel trailers. So it'll be interesting to see how the two powers complement each other or if his arm is related to the Sheikah Slate. Zelda also could have dropped the Sheikah Slate the Sheikah Slate, when she fell back in a black hole in the E3 2021 trailer. Who knows? Yeah, it's one of those things that if Link has both, we've never seen it. He hasn't had it in any of the trailers. The leaker also mentioned working on a roaring dragon and flying dragon animation, which could be related to an unreleased title for Breath of the Wild 2. All right, New Game Plus. Breath of the Wild sequel might also incorporate New Game Plus, which would be a first for the Legend of Zelda series. New Game Plus is a feature that enables players to carry over progress like stats, weapons, and other items into a new playthrough so that it's easier to explore areas you might have missed and replay specific moments without grinding through the same content again again this is just describing what new game plus has always meant in other games related to new game plus link will apparently look different at the end of breath of the wild switch force notes that this could be lost in translation and probably the last clear detail mentioned in the leak considering look different could mean a number of things from changing outfits to link's arm returning to normal switch force also pointed out that he could look different if new game plus enabled playing as other characters like zelda however he admits at the end of the video that he doesn't think playable zelda is likely etc etc this is all opinions obviously of switch force but the thing is we know a bit more than just what Switch Force put out there. Uh, so the original leak did actually come from the Chinese version of Twitter. Uh, and the Twitter handle behind it was a verified user who works at Nintendo. So uh, that's a thing. This user also has since deleted the tweets related after the news broke. Um, we're calling them tweets. It's not really tweets. It's still Chinese. It could be, you know, why is it on a Chinese one when they're, when they're busy, you know, working in Japan for Nintendo? They could have originated from China, of course, so they just happen to have a Chinese uh, Twitter account. Look, at the end of the day, this obviously is information that Nintendo didn't want out there. None of it is also the most damning 
stuff that exists on the internet, right? Like there's there's so much worse that could leak, uh, such as exact story details, exactly what's happening. What we get out of this is that New Game Plus is in the game, which we've never really had in a Zelda game. And then obviously the Sheikah Slate is back. In some way, the Sheikah Slate is back. I don't know how. I don't know why. We could speculate. Is it Zelda? Is it Link? What's going on? We don't know. All we know is the Sheikah Slate is back. And it would be really interesting And if one point late in the game, Link could somehow use the arm abilities and the Sheikah Slate abilities at the same time. I think that would be rather, rather interesting. Then obviously some dragon animations being mentioned. We know dragons existed in Breath of the Wild. Not a surprise they'd be back in Breath of the Wild 2. It'd be really cool if there's some cool aerial combat. You remember all those patents with Link falling through the air, shooting arrows, and doing all these crazy things that uh, sounded like it definitely was a Breath of the Wild 2 patent. Hey, uh, that sounds really badass. And maybe fighting some of these dragons midair uh, could be a use case for these patents, assuming that you even need to fight them. And there's a lot of theories around those dragons and what they represent. Are they actually evil? Uh, a lot of that stuff. So uh, I'm, I'm just really excited for the prospect of Breath of the Wild 2. And any morsel, any detail we can get on Breath of the Wild 2, I want to provide to you guys. Again, I was going to save this video, but you know what? The rest of the internet is slowly picking up on this story. Uh, so I wanted to throw it out there. And as kind of a final note to toss here at the end, uh, yesterday, uh, this is an update on yesterday's story, there was a, a Fire Emblem uh, rumor sort of thrown out there by Emily Rogers. She doesn't, for her, it's not a rumor, but since we can't verify this and see that it's, you know, who it came from, uh, we just go with calling it a rumor where the new Fire Emblem game is done and all that. You can go watch my video for a recap on that if you want, you know, just click up here. But one thing to note is that it does appear that screenshots may have leaked for the game. These screenshots are from an early build of fire emblem uh the new fire emblem game and are in chinese and emily rogers actually responded uh you know when people asked her if these are real or not because people thought oh maybe they're from a mobile game or something and she basically said oh, man, they look they look real to me they line up with everything i know i haven't seen these screenshots and they definitely look like they're from an old version of the game they definitely look like they're obviously from a chinese version of the game but you know she said hey you know they could be fake but you know, I'm looking at them, and uh, I, I think they're probably real. Uh, and she obviously, you know, admitted she had never seen them before. So, hey, look, you know, that's just further evidence. You know, you guys can, can sound off. I mean, early builds are always going to look a bit rough. Uh, so if you, if you think that this is uh, not Fire Emblem, that's fine. Uh, a lot of people are starting to think it is. So let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you so much for, for tuning in. I'm, I'm just really excited to bring this news to you today. Uh, probably one of maybe a couple of videos we get out today. I don't know. I have to start getting content ready for when I'm gone. But you guys are amazing and awesome. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, probably catch you guys at least tonight on the Nintendo Prime podcast at 8 p.m. Central Time on Nintendo Academy will be on and somebody else to be determined. So thank you guys and I'll catch you later.